In the biggest diabetes news story of 2016 so far, American researchers have moved one step closer towards curing type 1 diabetes by effectively halting the disease for up to six months. The research could signal the end of daily injections for the near 400,000 people in the UK living with type 1 diabetes. This new research was conducted by researchers at Harvard University and MIT. They demonstrated that encapsulated human islet cells, these are the cells that make insulin, can be transplanted into mice without causing an immune response. In type 1 diabetes, the immune system wrongly kills off insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. The researchers hope that human trials could take place within a matter of years, and the research follows up from a 2014 study by Harvard that was hailed as being as significant as the discovery of antibiotics. Harvard created huge quantities of insulin-producing beta cells using stem cells, and it is believed that this new study is the first to successfully use the cells in animal studies. The research team, which includes scientists from Illinois and Boston, created nearly 800 derivatives of a brown algae called alginate. Alginate has previously encapsulated islet cells without harming them or preventing them from releasing insulin. However, an immune response over time leads to scar tissue building around the alginate capsules. This leaves them ineffective and unable to release insulin. To fix this, MIT researchers focused on one derivative called triazole theomorphaline dioxide, or TMTD for short. TMTD only provoked a minimal immune response in mice and large animal models. The human islet cells were then encapsulated in TMTD and implanted into mice. The cells immediately produced insulin in response to blood glucose levels within a healthy range. Insulin production lasted for 174 days, the duration of the study. The researchers believe these results have laid the groundwork for human studies, and if successful, encapsulation therapy could provide insulin independence for people with type 1 diabetes. These findings are indicative that a cure may indeed be possible for type 1 diabetes. While it is still some way away, this is reason enough to cheer for everyone with type 1 diabetes across the world.